Once again, man, I see, I see a lot of familiar faces. I, just, I see some new faces. So for those who, you know, it's your first time here, welcome, man. This is a culture. I know you've heard this before, but this is a culture. This is a movement, man, and that's why we've been blessed to be able to do this event with Tip, man. There's only one guy who's just really in a position to really tell y'all what's going on and, and, and to announce while we're here tonight. So, yo, everybody makes a noise for drama, man. <laughs> What's up? What's up, everybody? How y'all feeling? But you know, I mean, I've known Tip for, for about 12 years now. I, I, I've seen him come in an enormous way. You know, to see him on his eighth album, to see him on the television daily, to see him on the big screen daily, to, to you know, to, to hear records, you know, consistently on the radio for, for such a long time, and for to, to see what he's done for the city in Atlanta, it, it, it's such an amazing thing, you know, from where he comes from and, and what he means to the city. I appreciate each and every last soul in this room, in this building, uh, because I, I just really, you know, I'm glad you guys chose to share this moment with me, you know what I mean? Because it's not many artists at their eighth album that can still say I'm having a listening session and, and get these many people out. I got the I got the big homie in the house, man. Uh, big boy, man, come come on up right quick, man. Make some noise for Big Boy, legendary, motherfucking Hall of Famer. Come on, hey, hey, ever since the record came out, man. Ever since ever since the record came out, man. Everybody that did interviews, man, they always had asked me. Man, what, what did Big Boy think when he heard that? How he feel? Good evening. <laughs> uh, first of all, you know me first. I'm, I'm a fan of niggas who can rap. You know what I mean? Y'all niggas who bust. And you know, when you do music, it, it's a form of therapy, you know what I'm saying? So I guess, you know, I mean, he had some shit to get off his chest. Just like when you write songs, it's, it's about your life, you know what I mean? And I was, I was dope. You first called me when y'all first did it. And then when we did in the A, you came to the studio, played it like it's Jack. And Drake came to my house and played it. And I was like, you know, that shit Jack. Jedi rap shit. Can't nobody fuck with Atlanta. <laughs> so bad, these hoes so drunk. This club so packed, these hoes so drunk. This club so packed, these hoes so drunk. I got a bottle, got a bottle, got a bottle, got a bottle. Got a bottle, got a bottle. Once again, man, this shit feel good to hear y'all goddamn agree that that shit with the shit because I would have felt like I was completely crazy. Yeah, but thank you for real.